So over the last few years, surprisingly, the most popular off-grid solar power system on my website has been this little hand truck. And it's probably because it's budget friendly and anybody can build it in under an hour. And this system is easy to scale. You can make it bigger, you can add more battery capacity, and it can handle a lot of solar. And it's a lot cheaper than solar generators on the market. Whether it's an Anchor, a Blue Eddy, or an EcoFlow, this thing totally destroys them. But unfortunately, all the hardware that I chose before now costs more money. For example, the yellow all-in-one inverter, this thing used to be $749. Now it's over a thousand, it's $1,049. And the server rack battery that we used is now $1,400. And this is their cheaper model. So lucky for us, we have some new competition. So over the weekend, I built the best bang for your buck off-grid system that you can fit on a hand truck. So first off, we now have budget server rack batteries. So instead of $1,400, you can buy these things on Amazon for $800 to $900. This EcoWorthy is $850. Next, this all-in-one has a 3,000 watt output and it's over $1,000. This thing has a 5,000 watt output and guess what? It's $800 and it's actually 5,000 watts. I just got done testing it. It blew my mind. Look how small this thing is and how good the performance is. And people have been running this model for a few years. Next, when it comes to solar, this thing can handle 5,000 watts, but this thing can handle 5,500 watts. And again, look how small it is. That is crazy. So the total cost for the EG4 system right now is $2,448. And this one on the right, with 2,000 watts of more output capacity and 500 watts of more input capacity is only $1,649. Also, when I set this one up, I didn't have to change any of the settings. And I also plugged it in with the AC input cord and it started charging right up. Also, let me show you what I connected. This is a distribution outlet box. The wiring is not adequate, especially for the current that this thing is rated for. So I had to upgrade the wiring and now it can handle 80 amps. And to test the AC output, I ran three heat guns and a heat lamp all at the same time. And then I plugged in the AC input and then it charged up the battery. I didn't change any settings and it was super simple. And then for the next test, I used three heat guns and this heater down here. It went up to 5,400 watts and then the battery tripped, not the inverter. Now this unit can handle two heat guns and that's it. Now in the reviews, a lot of people have used this for multiple years, but the most common thing that I saw people complain about was that it had a high idle consumption. And because this has a larger output than this, it's probably gonna have a larger idle consumption. And that's how much electricity these things use when nothing is connected, but the inverter is on. So we're gonna measure it between both of them and see what the difference is. So we're gonna turn them both on, zero our meter, so this one's 1.1 amps, and this one's 1.2 to 1.3 amps. So not a big difference, but this one has a way larger output. So yeah, this one's better for its idle consumption considering the size. Also this unit, there's new clones of it. So if you go on Amazon and you type in 3000 watt 48 volt inverter, EcoWorthy and also Lead Time are selling this exact same one, but for cheaper. It's not over $1,000, it's under $700. So there's new options. Before, this was the only one we could buy. But now, for the same cost, you can get a 5,000 watt one, and it fits on the hand truck perfectly. I literally just built this a few hours ago. It took me less than an hour to build it. And it's so cheap, it's under $2,000. Compare the price of this and the capacity to any solar generator on the market, and it will blow you away. Now the price of this stuff went up right when the tariffs were announced. Now the tariffs are on a pause and they're still elevated. So hopefully the prices will come down soon. But for now, this is a great option for those of you guys on a budget. For the next few months, I'm gonna connect some solar panels to this thing and actually use it. I'll report back if it gets overheated or something, but a lot of people in the reviews seem to love this thing. Now, if you have any problems with this inverter, please let me know in the comments section below or on the forum. Some of the older sunglasses power products that I had were horrible. So yeah, I like to keep an open mind. Every product is made by a different manufacturer these days. So it's hard to tell what's gonna be good and what's gonna be bad. So far, this thing's kicking butt, like 5,000 watts. And like, look at this, that's just ridiculous. So I hope you liked the video and I hope this helps some of you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.